everyone, all the audience and our dear guests, sir. I, Swastik Mandal, will be representing Group Acharya today in the uh, extempo speech competition. So let's begin, everyone. Uh, Namaste, Jai Sri Ram, Brahma, Sastriya Kal. Are you all guys uh, related with these words? Uh, I'm sure that you have heard these one words once in your life. Okay, let me tell you more easily. <laughs> let me tell you more easily that I have just said you hello in different uh, cultural languages of India, as India has a vast culture and it's made up of sovereign languages. There are approx forty five plus cultures in India. <coughs> so uh, it doesn't matter to which culture you belong. You all are exactly Indian. Even Indian epics have a great uh, significance in our life. Many epics like Ramayana, Mahabharata gives us life lessons. Not only of Hindu epics, but many other other uh, many other religion epics such as Buddhist. In Buddhism, we have Jataka tales which talks about the previous lives of Buddhas, and here we can get different life lessons from the different tales. Even it is not uh, it is not signified in our uh, lives, but even uh, many other cultures. And uh, creators get motivation from it. Like we can also see in Marvels the topic of multiverse, which is already been uh, discussed in our Hindu epics and uh, cultures. In our in Indian cultures, if we get hurt, the mothers used haldi in place of any uh, in place of any other ailments. This also signifies that our culture has a vast knowledge in different types of science. If we uh, if we go through our different epics like Ramayana, Mahabharata, they have mixed up emotion, the wind the the wind of the light over the other. <clears throat> it's a mix of emotions of joy, happiness, great sovereignty, and many other things. If we talk about if we talk about the scriptures of our culture, we can see that we, there are more than one hundred and Eight Puranas, which talks about different fields of science, technology, economy. Even if we see from the ancient times, the famous book Chanakya Niti, made by a famous Hindu philosopher and diplomat Chanakya, it is now used. Uh, more than eighty plus countries use it to do their uh, to form their economy. Not only in economy, but Indians have a great uh, have a great past in poetry and culture, uh, poetical culture. Uh, we can see it through the poets of uh, through the lines of different poets like Kavira, Tulsi Dasa. If we talk about the significance of Indian culture, we can get a mix of emotion. But the everything we know about it is that every part of life gives us a new lesson, and it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't uh, reflect in your life that which culture you belong to even if you are punjabi or a marathi the le the lesser it comes that we all are indians and our culture is great thank you good evening to everyone <laughs> respected visitor and all the audience <clears throat> so Today my topic for the example speech is globalization, globalization and Indian economy. So let's begin with the topic. So if we talk about the Indian economy, after the British captured India, the Indian economy in Indian economy was just going down. In country. Just going down, but in 1947. when india got released from the british it just started going uh, going from the downmost point of downmost point of its downmost point uh, where the british british have uh, raided india british have raided india so if we talk about the Uh, about the twenty first century in India, India is growing very rapidly. Like in Rajasthan, in few few days before, a lithium mine was found, uh, and lithium is used to make batteries, which will boost the Indian economy. 
in an economy. So, so uh, like the uh, the government of means like the companies like Lamborghini, uh, Toyota, they have taken a decision that they will they will ban petrol and diesel cars and they will support uh, electrical cars. The lithium battery would help them for production more production of it. Indian economy also depends on the population and literacy level of Indian people. Like if <coughs> if the Indian people are literate, they can go out go out for job job and uh, make uh, means may boost the Indian economy. Indian economy uh, <coughs> and <coughs> Indian economy in India. In India, it is uh, it is that uh, it is like that <coughs> that the people people uh, <coughs> people want people who are of the lower classes want want that <coughs> want more more working hands more working hands from their family. So they <coughs> let their child to go and work in the small age and do not let them to uh, do their proper education. So this is the conclusion conclusion of my topic that if India Indian Indian economy uh, Indian economy if Indian economy will grow uh, if the Indian literacy level will grow the Indian economy will also grow as <coughs> as uh, it will help them to conquer more jobs job fields and more jobs in uh, and in the different types of fields thank you let's start sure. good evening to everyone present here uh, i want to thank you Rishikesh sir for giving this opportunity for delivering my speech for the extempore speech competition organized in FTA uh, 2023 uh, and the topic for today is Atmanera Bharat now let's dive into the topic and why should we depend on the other countries when India is alone a world other countries can have mountains we have the great Himalayas other countries can have the active volcanoes, we have the barren, barren islands. Other countries can have desert, we have the Thar desert. We have, other countries can have oil reserves, we have big boy in Assam. Other than India is the largest exporter of tea leaves, fourth largest exporter of banana, then third largest Excuse me. Third largest ex exporter, sorry, sixth largest exporter of wheat, and the and the largest exporter of beef. Though uh, we are still not Atmanirbhar, but we can be, as many of our many of our citizens think that we uh, have the potential for being Atmanirbhar as. India has everything which I told you before um, uh, in the starting of my starting of my topic, and even the word Atmanirbhar has also some meanings. Atmanirbhar means that we should we should be self de uh, self dependent and not to be dependent on others. And one fun fact that Atmanirbhar was the word uh, uh, word of the year by Hindi College Dictionary 2020 and uh, the At and Atmanirbhar is also uh, like and we need to be Atmanirbhar because as we know that most of uh, more as India is um, India is the goods which uh, is used in the day to day market the 45% of the goods is exported so, uh, sorry imported and only 55 percent which should be in which should be increased uh, increased because as we as if you and if you say about the import and ex, import and export we can see that our 
import is pretty high than other country and by this we are indirectly um, increasing the economy of other country and uh, we are indirectly uh, increasing the economy of other countries and we also uh, even know that sorry we also even know that we have many things that can be exported like the lithium lithium reserve which was recently found in jammu kashmir in january 2023 january 2023 and uh, which as lithium is as lithium is very much needed for the uh, for the electric cars and now nowadays volvo general motors ford and may, and 36 other countries have thought that we will use completely electric cars and uh, the, our mukesh ambani the owner of reliance has also started to work on a project named solar lab which uh, which uh, which have which one uh, because he wants to make india as a uh, more more of a uh, more of more of use of uh, solar panels and the uh, uh, energy from the sun and by this motive as uh, mukesh ambani is the richest person of of our country we have no problem for funds and and even that that uh, mukesh ambani is an indian and the 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 more uh, the more indians come up the more atmanivar we make and even i want to request to my audience do at least something for india that we can be atmanivar one day and our and our most of the goods that uh, that we have are mostly exported not imported and with that i tinjal shah comes to an end for the uh, for comes to an end for the for my topic and thank you everyone hope you have a good day once more good evening everyone so i am here in the finals of the example speech competition 2023 Uh, thank you to dear sir Isikesh for keeping me in the finals. So without wasting any further time, I would like to jump up to my topic. So my topic is global gaming technology and e-sport entertainment. So first of all, I would like to ask a general question like, who all are waiting for the first level of total gaming? Olf, Olf, Ajubai. Hi hi. So. We can see the craze in Indian boys and Indian youth in gaming, like, and now the coming <coughs> generation, the parents are also quite taking the gaming as a new career option. We can see different gamers such as DC gamers, Total Gaming, in the country like India where parents are very strict about their child's future, they are allowing their child to do in esports line and. e-sports is now recognized globally as a sp- sports team uh, even a multiple e-sports competition are also taken place like uh, in japan a uh, nan- uh, uh, annual e-sports competition such as tokoga is taken in every year in which different uh, gaming leagues from uh, ga- gaming teams from different countries come across and do in different four by four games such as uh, tower climbing and many other even if we see in other zondas like most of us has already seen k drama and we are also familiar with it the most watched k drama is falling into a smile and you will be saw to know that it is based on an esports story uh, in the we see an esports technology in esports technology uh, different types of new game sets has been created like recently in south korea nerf cells has been created in which the gamers can take the enjoyment of full body motions with wonderful graphics earlier esports and gaming 
used to spoil the children's life because they have been constantly doing gaming and uh, stuff like that. But nowadays, uh, we can also see that the esports industries is using uh, is taking time to uh, do better in such things like making uh, like making a game limit for students. So I would like to conclude my point with that. Like esports is also a new future for new future career options for teenagers and stuff like that. And who knows that you would be the next ninja. Thank you. Good evening to everyone. And <clears throat> once again, a uh, very <clears throat> thank you, Vishy sir, for giving me a chance to speak. speak. And thank you for the audience that gave the speech. So, the topic is global terrorism. Let's begin with it. Global terrorism. We can see <clears throat> terrorism is in the increase of the world. Like, uh, <clears throat> like in the Israel and Palestine, Palestine war, the Hamas and the uh, <clears throat> Gazis are <clears throat> helping, helping the uh, helping Palestine and the Hamas are uh, helping Israel and the Gazis are helping Palestine, Palestine uh, for for uh, uh, for the war between them, uh, war between them, uh, which uh, <clears throat> which also uh, <clears throat> supports global terrorism. In India also, we can see that like uh, the 26-11 attack uh, in the Mumbai hotel was done by the terrorist, <coughs> terrorist gangs uh, in which many people were killed uh, but it was a successful mission that the Indian force have rescued the people and, uh, and the <coughs> terrorists were suicide bombers. Even we can see in the Pulwama attack that <coughs> when the uh, military force <coughs> A vehicle was going. Uh, the suicide bombers just came with the car and <coughs> hit hit the uh, bus uh, bus and the bus uh, bus was uh, like bomb. It got bombarded <coughs> bombarded. So uh, we can see the global terrorism <coughs> global terrorism is in the increase. Even uh, uh, even in the book Malala Yousafzai, <coughs> it is uh, clearly written that the Taliban in Afghanistan uh, were not letting the girls to do proper education and <clears throat> and for which Malala Yousafzai <clears throat> stood up and fought against the Afghanistan but uh, fought against the Taliban's but <clears throat> the Taliban's even tried to kill her but uh, uh, but by the God's sake she was saved and in Afghanistan now girls can do proper education So, <clears throat> why should shouldn't we say that uh, <clears throat> shouldn't we say that global terrorism should be banned? Uh, <clears throat> like in the dark uh, deep web, many uh, many <clears throat> uh, ter terrorist gangs <clears throat> terrorist gangs are uh, do trades trades like the guns and armors uh, armors uh, uh, for more money and the uh, ammunitions. So. This was the conclusion of the topic. Uh, I would say that global terrorism should not be <clears throat> should not be supported. Thank you.